scholars uh, study institutions, its foundations, its structure, its working, its trajectory. It's because they are curious, are a part of their academic assignment. They need not necessarily have any specific interest in the particular institution which they are studying. But those who are part of the institution certainly would have some interest in the institution. But they may not have necessary inclination, time and energy to make a systematic and comprehensive study of the institution and its trajectory. <clears throat> those of us who are interested in sustaining and improving the institution for the for the welfare of the people of this country need a greater study for the remaining period. It's, in my view, it should be an ongoing process. We must constantly keep uh, analyzing and examining how exactly the institution is functioning and uh, what are its achievements, what are its values, how to improve the institution. It's a matter which requires a constant uh, examination. It would work out to be about a ton of of people who have a direct interaction with the judiciary of this country. But the rest of the 120 crores are also affected by the institution. The decisions made by this institution from the Supreme Court to the lowest court in some way or the other touch the lives of uh, the population of this country. All of us know that the law declared by the highest court of this country binds everybody in this country. Whether somebody is a party to such a declaration directly or not. So therefore, uh, a study like this is more and more essential. I believe and I am sure each one of uh, the members present in this gathering believe that if I, for the survival of a liberal democracy, an impartial and independent judiciary is essential, without which I don't think any liberal democracy can flourish. The enormous jurisdiction which the Supreme Court of India is conferred with by the Constitution, coupled with the eagerness of the court to do complete justice, created a huge uh, amount of arrears on this court with something of the order of 50 to 60,000 uh, cases right now. A backlog which it appears to me almost impossible to be cleared. I'm sorry to say this, but, uh, but the empirical data available for the last few, few decades indicates that. And Mr. Dhawan sitting in the gathering, I think, uh, made a research into the matter and probably made a the areas part of it. Whether such a situation would really add to the glory and prestige of the institution, whether uh, it would uh, really serve the purpose is a matter for examination and concern for uh, all those who are connected with this institution. A solution must be found if the institution is to remain relevant. The problem is real. The requirement of finding a solution is imperative. The ways and means for solving the problem are required to be devised. Research works like the book on hand would go a long way to provide necessary material to find solutions to the problem. The people of this country, I believe, were was some debt of gratitude to Jack Boy. And Mr. Raghavan and his team deserve a great appreciation from each one of us. Thank you.